So I had the pleasure of working with, and here goes with the name dropping, unabashed, um, with Lord Attenborough, who uh, was just absolutely delightful. Uh, what an experience to be on set with, with him. And um, I was working on a film called Closing the Ring, which actually, there's the, there's the invitation to the world premiere, which actually I didn't, I didn't go to. Um, I can't remember why, but I, I just didn't go to it. Um, and um, Shirley MacLaine was was one of the leads in that, and I have been a big Shirley MacLaine fan for you know twenty years. I've read most of her books, if not all of them. <laughs> and like Shirley, I'm very interested in you know the esoteric past lives, you know UFOs, reincarnation, synchronicities, and and so on. And so there I was. Not long after finishing one of her famous books, standing right beside her on set, and being a professional, ever the professional darling, I didn't introduce myself because it was her first day on set, and you know I just thought it would be totally inappropriate to come up and start fawning and um, you know making uh, demands on her time when she was probably jet lagged and all the rest of it. Uh, it was a pity, perhaps perhaps I maybe should have struck up a conversation. Um, but I just felt that at the time it wasn't the professional thing to do. But it was lovely to be there with her and I also had the privilege of being uh, overhearing Pete Postlethwaite, whom Steven Spielberg called the greatest actor you know, of our time, being asked by a little kid if he was an actor too. So this little, he, Pete was sitting on a, on, a, on a wooden box having a cigarette and this kid says to him, Here mister, you in this film too? And... Uh, we can, Pete says, well, well, yeah, mate. And he says, uh, he says so what, what have you been in? Have you been in the TV? And he says, yeah. He says, what have you been in? He says, uh, oh, Jurassic Park. He went, yeah, and that. What one were you? I don't remember you. So anyway, that was just lovely. But there you go, kids. They say the funniest things, don't they? Um, the thing with Lord Attenborough that made my day, I was just playing a cop, you know, a generic, Northern Irish actors, it's a real generic thing. You get to play an RUC man, okay, a policeman, or a terrorist of either of either paramilitary persuasion. And that tends to be it, okay. Occasionally you might play a drunk layabout, you know, so, but, you know, it, like all actors, you know, we, we often have to sort of fit into certain perceived stereotypes. So there I am playing a cop and... Um, I just had a couple of lines. I actually haven't seen the film. But uh, Lord Attenborough came up to me. He was 85, I think, at the time. And um, he actually called me darling. Which, you know, you've seen the you've seen the impressions. You know, everyone says, oh, lovey and darling and all this. And he actually did call me. He touched my shoulder and he said, that's wonderful, darling. Just, just, just keep it like that. That's lovely. And I just had a pinch myself moment where I just thought, I've just been directed by Lord Attenborough, you know, from... Um, you know, The Third Man and, um, uh, you know, all these incredible movies and, uh, you know, Jurassic Park and Cinematic Legend. And that was just really something special. Um, so there you go. Very, very special little moment for me. There I was on set with Shirley MacLaine, Pete Possethwaite and Lord Attenborough. And... Um, you know these things. These things can come along. One day you can be waiting for your, you know, you'll be chasing money for a sausage commercial for six months, and then next day you're on set with some, you know, absolute legends. And it's a pleasure and a privilege to be there contributing on any project of that stature. Uh, and also, Marty McCann, a, a very very talented and lovely actor from Northern Ireland, was starring in that film as well. So there you go. You know, you go in from. Um, you know, people that we were working on going to additions together. And then there he is, you know, fronting up um, a major motion picture. And, uh, you know, then he then went on to do a lot of work in um, the Pacific for, uh, you know, the Steven Spielberg sequel to um, Band of Brothers. So Marty's going from strength to strength and more power to him. He's a fantastic guy and a great and a great actor. So, um, you know, it, it can happen to people like you and me, um, people, everyday people in ordinary scenarios can really have their dreams come true. And on that somewhat trite sounding note, I will head on and I'll see you sometime soon to tell you a little bit about working on Good Vibrations. Well, guess what? I played an RUC officer. See you guys.